Hi everyone. Have you ever needed to figure out exactly what's happening in your business or your project or in a process to create something in your business or project? Well, one of the most useful tools you will find in order to capture that information and bring it out into the open is a SIPOC. And a SIPOC stands for supplier, input, process step, output and customer, but they don't mean exactly what you might think. It's a tool from the Toyota production system or lean and our supplier means anyone who is supplying into that process. Let's use an example that we may be familiar with and that is dining at a restaurant. Now we've got our process steps from one to six, but you could have many more or many less process steps. And the point is that each one will have something supplying information or things to that process and then we'll have an output. So what does that process create? What's the output of that process? You can put this in any way you choose, but the point is we've got suppliers to every process. They provide their inputs. The process step happens. Then there's an output of that process step and the customer gets the benefit of that, but it may not be the end customer every time. It might just be the next person in the process. Let's figure out how to make one of these SIPOCs in PowerPoint so that you can take it and use it in your own business or project straight away. And the first thing we're going to do is just to do up the heading area so we know what we're working with with our SIPOC and we might speed that up ever so slightly as we're going along just so we can get into the good stuff of the actual SIPOC itself. Now to create the SIPOC, we're just going to use a little trick and that is to insert uh, a table. And so with our table, we're going to want five columns and we're going to want as many rows as we want for the process that we're working with. And it you know, could be one, could be five, could be a hundred if we really wanted it to. We're going to go to our table design. We don't want a header row and we don't want banded rows either. And we actually don't want any fill for this either. Let's select a slightly thicker, a thicker brush here. And so we don't want to draw a table, but what we want to do is just select this particular top row and we can have that as our bottom border. Then for the rest of our, our items, we can actually say inside vertical border and that's what we want there. Then for the rest of our process steps, how about we just reduce that and have a normal size, uh, normal size item and then we can say this is our inside horizontal border. But we might want to make the, the pen color maybe a little bit of a deeper blue. If we select an entire row, then we can actually uh, have a little bit of shading. Maybe we want to make this just a little bit darker gray for every second row. Now we can increase the size of that and make that fill out the rest of our PowerPoint. Now we can input the titles. As we said, we've got our supplier, we've got our inputs, We've got our process step, we've got our output, and we've got our customer. Again, the customer just being the next person in that process. If we put that in the middle and uh, have that in the middle there and in the center, we can also color these to just be a, make them stand out. Maybe we'll have uh, the suppliers and customers on the end because we've got the supplier and the customer there in the same sort of boat. Inputs and outputs are very similar as well, so we can have those as a similar color. And the process step is a, can stand on its own because that's the process step that we need to know. Now, if we select all of these, just put them in the middle and reduce the size of the text a little bit. Now we've got our process step one, we've got process step two, process step three, and so on. Now we can very clearly spell out our SIPOC uh, from supplier all the way through to our customer very easily using this PowerPoint template. And you can really get a feel for what the process is and who needs to be involved when doing that process. I hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me creating this SIPOC. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.